happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy, uh, 251 MOB dude. Um, I'm coming from, uh, Automobile, Alabama. Yeah. And like and subscribe if you're not. I know I'm just small, very, very, very small time. But, uh, let me get into this little message here. Yeah. Alright, so. Everybody knows if you ain't been on YouTube or been under a rock this whole time for the past couple months, Kwame Brown is the talk of the town. Yeah, that man there uh, uh, burst on the scene, making a big difference. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not he take the role, the role of a leadership, little do he know he's still leading. He's showing you. He's leading by example, for one. Let's go ahead and say that. Leading by example. But I don't want to talk about that right now because real man do real things and he's doing his thing and that, that's great. And, he, and he's also letting other YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, eat off of off his name. Like, that's some dope, that's some dope shit. That's some dope ish. Excuse me, YouTube. That's some dope ish. The problem I'm having now not with Kwame Brown. I don't have a problem with Kwame Brown at all. I love everything that this man is doing. The problem I have is the ones that are trying to ride his coattail. You know what I'm saying? Like just for validation and looking for and looking for a shout out instead of instead of sharing his message just for the simple fact of the message you know what i'm saying just just for the message to get out as long as the message is spreading that's all that matters you know what i'm saying every all these guys uh so most of these guys are trying to share his message but wants to reap the benefits of more followers and they want to gain more from this youtube stuff they trying to, you know, do all this stuff to get monetized and whatnot. Starting with the Thomas Sotomayor stuff. This man barely man barely knew this man. And uh I guess he I guess they had some text message exchange going on. And then like out of nowhere, just because something didn't go right, he called his deceased mother, uh a PAB Why? What for? No Thomas Sotomayor. You the PAB. You the PAB. That don't make no sense, man. That's 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 in the words of Kwame Brown, that's bitch shit. <laughs> that is bitch shit. That's a female trait to get mad because Y'all, well, whatever the case, they're just dumb. You just want you wanted to ride his coattail because he's the hottest thing going, smoking on YouTube right now, and you didn't, and and you was looking for that validation and you didn't get it. Same thing with Hassan Kim. All because they share a common enemy in the Breakfast Club. He felt the need he could mention his name. Mention his name, ride his coattail, salute to him, and then turn around and say, don't compare me to him. I'm not no NBA player, we grew up different. And then when the man check you, you want to try to come up there and apologize. apologize. You shouldn't have did it in the first place. All these guys, man, they got female traits. They doing it for clicks, likes, subscribers, and followers. Instead of just living your life like a man and doing everything the organic way and just preaching the message that you're trying to preach. Like, I'm on this YouTube stuff, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just talking shit. I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I know, and I know in my heart of hearts, only a few people, one or two, <laughs> might listen to this message. Might sit and listen to this whole video. 
just one or maybe two but I'm just doing everything organically you know I have a harder goal I like to believe that and if, if, if I can get monetized on this thing I, I'm uh, hopefully I can be the next Kwame Brown to make a difference you know what I'm saying speaking the truth about all these inconsistencies and these men on YouTube who are like preaching the wrong message and contradicting what they preach. They, they all need to be held accountable. It's high time everybody start being held accountable. Even if you catch me on something, hold me accountable. I want you to. I want you to because I can contradict myself sometimes. I'm, I mean, I'm not perfect, but I I will allow myself to be corrected if I'm wrong. I know that much. Moving on, another coattail, another coattail puller, just around the dick chase, dick ride, is that low-key, low-key T for life. I don't even know this brother. I don't know. I never did. Yeah, today was the first time me hearing about him, mention him, seeing him. For two minutes, I done heard him talk. He sound like a song camera, boy. He sound like a song. Sound like a dick chaser. He sound like another one that just won't, that's seeking validation. This man ain't even asked you, this is Kwame Brown, did not even ask you to, to edit his videos. You did that on your own. But you didn't do that on your own just to put his message out. No, you did that to try to get benefited from, to the benefit from it. You tried to, you tried to come up instead of just spread the message and you get mad here a bit shit alert you get mad because he didn't shout you out so when he didn't shout you out you got mad now everybody he shout out bitch ass niggas nigga what please my man please stop and, if, and to be real, you probably came up the most, maybe. You got 10,000 subscribers off of that. Wow, that's good. I wish I had the two you had. I wish I had the 2,000 subscribers you had. I got 35. <laughs> Low numbers. Nobody ain't hearing me talk. I'm talking to my goddamn self. I don't care. I don't care. But... I don't, I don't get my real life confused with this YouTube shit. Like, wow, man, you niggas get on here. And, whew, Boy, y'all are different, man. Y'all really made different out here. Y'all really made different out here. Don't make no sense. How can you get mad? You got 10,000 10, subscribers. All right. All right. All right. You, you passed the message on. Keep it moving. Just, you got that. Keep it moving. Get monetized and keep it moving. By the way, I need I need help. Somebody help me on how to do that. Send me some information on how to get monetized. I'm new to all this YouTube stuff. Uh, trying to get monetized. Da, 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 da. I'm new to all this. So if anybody can pass me that information and help me out, please do. Because I'm trying to. I want to. I want to get out this damn truck. I really get me out this truck. <laughs> I really want to work for myself. I, I, I feel like I can do this YouTube stuff, and uh, more so, I, I would I would talk about topics on. I I let me say, all right. Let me say this. I do music reviews, and then talk about you know topics in in much respect. And, you know, even if it's dealing in death, I'm not gonna pull no Hassan Campbell type shit. That 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 shit is just. Ugh. They doing all that. They doing all this extra stuff for shock value, you know. <sighs> anyway, salute to Kwame Brown and all you dick suckers and 
kidding, man. YouTube, don't, 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 uh, take me down. Don't flag me. To all you coattail pullers that's trying to come up off another man instead of just coming up on your own organically and just preaching the message. Man, y'all, 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 go, go do something with yourself. I don't know. Go do something with yourself. Drink a, drink a rat poison milkshake and lay down. Just go do that. Because y'all, y'all, y'all don't need to be on YouTube. Bullets got it. I ain't got much to say about that, brother. Him getting robbed. Him getting robbed on you on camera was enough. <laughs> the shook in his eyes. So he, I see fools like that take care, take uh take up for mother uh uh take up for crazy motherfuckers like Hassan Campbell. Anybody who could take up or who could defend that motherfucker. Y'all are insane. Y'all are crazy. He's a pedophile. He's not the right guy to be trying to defend. You know, I can say more, but uh, right now I'm driving. So, but let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go and close this out. But anyway, this your boy, 251 MOB Dudon, coming straight out of Mobile, out of Bama. Uh, Shout out to Real G, shout out to Cento, shout out to Sidenetta, shout out to Wax Dog, shout out to uh, 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 T Bone for Colors, shout out to Kwame Brown, shout out to Miss 504, the Queen, Mouth of the South, across the way. I love her. <laughs> I really love her. <laughs> shout out to uh, 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 Melee TV all day. All day, yeah. Melee, Melee all day TV. Yeah, shout out to that brother. I like the message he preached to. Uh, 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 uh. That might be everybody. If I didn't get everybody, I'm sorry. Did I shout out Real G's? Shout out Real G's TV. Gotta get that out. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But anyway, it's your boy MOB Dude on 251 coming from the MOB. It's that word.